Hello friends, welcome to our channel and this is our day 4 of learning Talent Open Studio from basic. Uh, sorry for delaying this video, I was busy due to some uh, circumstances. Okay, let's get started with the uh, today topic. So today we're going to finish our uh, two components that is T file input delimited and T set global uh variable okay so these two complement component will be finished okay and now today i just want to uh, tell you that uh, we know how to work with the file uh, input delimited right but suppose you have a condition that uh, there's a file okay there's a location and in this location your client pushed uh, input file every day based on and that file uh, contain uh, date, date also. So on a daily basis, file receive in some specific folder and uh, that file contain date also. So your job is to design that ES. Your talent job should only pick that input file which contain today. Like today is 24. So my uh, suppose there are two input uh, files and uh, this contain 23 okay this is 23 april 2022 and this is 24 april 2022 so my job should be only picking this one file not 23rd of april okay so we, for this we have to uh, start our talent job okay so let's get started first of all use that your simple component a file input delimit you know now we can't use metadata part because the file is dynamic by every day it's a, a part of date keep changing okay so we can't use this option so we're going to use this uh, manual uh, option now how do you select so yeah let me show you file also what is the file containing yeah this is my file and in this file we have three generally we have three columns columns name as first name last name and number number is some random number i'm just taking it to differentiate data type nothing else okay so i'm going to provide three column here first one is let's say let's say first uh i want to show you something so be uh so please uh observe it very carefully okay this number is is of integer type so i will select integer Okay, now you see, you see that I have provided here column name different and in my file column name was different, right? So will it affect in my talent job? Uh, okay, here column name are different than my talent job. So will it affect my talent job? Okay, for this, let's just check, okay, by running the job. I'm selecting this one file, same file. Header as one, yes. That's it. We are good to go. We are using T log rule to print your uh, output, you know. In Java, we had a system dot out print LN. And this we have T log rule. So let's just run the job and check the data correctly coming or not. Yeah, it's perfectly coming, okay. We have thousand records. Okay, so there is no issue. Okay, but now I just just be careful. Okay, be here. Now, due to some while working on the project, what I did that I changed the sequence. Like instead of number was on the third column, but somehow due to any reason. I made it on second as a second column and second column uh, became third column. So will it affect the job? I just check that, okay. Okay, so from this point, you will get to know two points, very important points. Okay, so yeah, your job field, no data extracted. And your exception will be as discussed in last video also. Number format exception. You know when it when it comes when uh, there is a column a data there is a some column 
suppose that is our num uh, number type column but we are passing some integer value in it so that's uh, the situation where we receive number format exception so, so second column was uh, in our file this is last name but we have selected it as an integer type that's why it's thrown so i'm changing i'm just correcting the sequence now will it work definitely it will work because now sequence is correct so for, uh, from this point we understood two main uh, uh, pointers okay first one uh, name in the schema and the name in file columns name we are talking here doesn't matter but the what matters is the sequence of columns so be careful about the sequence of column your data will be wrongly uh, mapped if you uh, change the sequence so file sequence must be same as the uh, your uh, that uh, talent job uh, schema sequence so here uh, your this part mainly part completed now what i told you that yeah we do need to extract only today uh, current date data, uh, data file so for that i need to make it dynamic right right now it is a static type so i just to make it dynamic and for that uh, i need to explain you one thing in that file name what we have three part first name second current date and last one is extension so this is not going to change because the client said that yeah this will be fixed and generally it is fixed okay and so your file extension mostly are same all the time and what changes is date you right so we need to work on three parameters for making it dynamic so you know in this file we have provided our path into in double inverted comma because it take it as a string so till this part our file name is not going to change so i just made it let me delete after that so i just made it first argument now second argument before second argument i'm using last argument my last argument same uh, in the double inverted comma and my file extension okay this is my third argument now second argument what i need current date right so for current date i will press control and space we have a function for get current date you will see in the third okay this one so will it work now what do you what do you think no no because we have a folder uh, of the code table but there is no data extracted what is the reason and there is an error error means name or directory name or volume level syntax is incorrect why there is a syntax incorrect error see the function this one the get current date function gives you just date but you know this this file name and string column this this whole th take things in a string manner like in double inverted comma and we haven't provided it in a string format that's why it uh, it thrown an error for that what we uh, will be do and what the correct way to do in talent job whenever you want to convert your date into string format just to use this one function format date you see this fun function of populate your string as this default uh, default way if you 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 just whatever way you want to use you can uh, just change it instead of my date you're going to use here say get current date function so this will return you date and this will provide your date into string format in your desired format like in my file i have that format in y y year month and date so in same way i will use it and i don't need H these are hr minutes and second i don't need this okay because my file doesn't contain it so i will remove it now will it work let's see so yeah it worked perfectly okay there is no error because you can see there is exit code equals to zero this comes when your job is successfully completed when there is an error uh, instead of zero it will be one so by this you also you can easily understand job uh, succeeded or not i hope this is clear now suppose i have 
multiple uh, parts in this talent job where I'm doing some specific tasks. I don't know any tapping. I'm just copying it. We have some, okay, and I'm running it. It will work, right? Because I have copied and pasted. But now what the important thing is, suppose my job got failed yesterday and my business asked me, can you please check yesterday file why it was uh, incorrect or why it did fail? And for that, I need to run talent job, right? But when I have this uh, this thing in my talent job, I cannot uh, check the file with uh, yesterday date, can I? Because it will uh, return you only current date. So you can't check any other, other date except uh, current date. So in this scenario, we use a component that is T set global variable. This is similar as global variable in your job. A variable whose, whose, uh, 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 whose scope is in every method of that class. Okay. So suppose that you have 10 method in a Java class and this is global variable. So being this variable uh, scope will be on that 10 methods. So how to use it? Let us see. Okay, first, it has two columns, key and value. Key is your variable name. So I'm using here uh, date val. Okay, I'm using variable as date val. You can use anything. And now what I have provided here, that is talent date format and current date. This whole section, I will just copy and paste. And I will keep it in a sum in this uh, variable date var okay i will use this in uh, global variables okay. now done my job done now uh, when i will run job i want to before uh, these three uh, section before running these three section i want to run this so that first of all it stores your data by in correct way in this variable and then we can use this variable in your whole job so for this, we do have a component called pre t pre job. So on using this job, uh, whatever you link uh, 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 corresponding to this component, that will run first, and then other jobs or other part of the jobs will run. Okay. So on now, it, similarly we have t pre post job component that is at the end of your job uh, after running everything, your that section will be running. So for that, let us check. Okay. Mainly we use T pre job and T post job because uh, like DB connection close and DB connection start. When we want a connection should be start, we use T pre job and we want the after our work done, please close this connection. Then we use T post job. So see, I have connected this. Okay. Now what I'm uh, going to do that instead of providing this uh, function, I'm going to use context variable here. What is the benefit of using this uh, variable? You will get to know and you will be surprised because this will make your work so easy. Sorry. Okay. Now just press control and space. Okay. And just type T set uh, the which component variable uh, uh, you want. That is your T set global variable. So I have just typed it. And two things coming here, T set global variable error message. So whenever your component will fail this T set global variable, it will make you uh, know the, uh, yeah, at what, for the what reason uh, your this component fails. So we don't want to use this, okay? We want the value in the date bar variable. So we will use the first one. And now you can see this, if you want to read it, read it. This is global map dot get. So this means this is your, your, scope in class your java class and this is your variable and the return type of this variable is a string so that's why it is written here string if return type was integer an integer must have written here so you know that's why we have provided the variable in the inverted comma fine i hope this is clear till now so now i'm just copying and pasting in every section of the job that will save our time So, okay, now, first of all, this will work. Uh, and uh, in this, please observe, 
at first it will run and then these two will run and this this one run because we have connected this part to t post job so it will run at the end of after other section so you saw the uh, this rain uh, ran uh, quick and after running these two we got uh, this part executed so i hope this is clear now our scenario if, if i want to check yesterday file then what then what so okay instead of this you just change here your required date like uh, the variable which you were using earlier okay that was uh, returning you today date in how in what format year month and day so same format we going to use here as a value in double inverted comma okay that was function that's why we haven't provided in double inverted comma this is value that's why we going to provide this value in double inverted comma in your uh, required format so i have provided yesterday file will it run and just check there i'm just checking here how many records it have actually it have same number of records thousand records so let just uh let you see number of record okay okay so i just want to keep only this much 15 data now we can run the job and we can check the result so in every component or uh, what should be the uh, data yeah 15 15 15 i hope this is clear and if you provided here any other format like 202 underscore 04 uh, 03 okay it will also run but the error will be that at this uh, the file not founded here because we haven't provided that date in some this that format so there is no problem in the job but it will simply uh, throw you error the system cannot find the file is specified okay for that now if i just make changes in the format like year underscore month underscore day your current day so now run the job will it work perfect i think this is clear now okay so how to use t pre job how to use t set global variable and how to use t file input and how to make your input file component dynamic so this similarly you can uh, we will be using uh, t file list in future classes where you will be able to uh, know if uh, there is if there is a change in name also then how to extract so don't worry how to use t post job also you are very clear now okay so that's it for today so uh, with this we have completed your uh, that uh, uh, what say T set global var and T file input delimit component perfectly done. Next class onward, we're going to start T file output delimited and T file list. Okay, these two components are very important, and this uh, this one is very important and do have some uh, interesting uh, pointers. So keep learning and uh, thank you for watching uh, this video and for your time. Be safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.